In a certain school, it is reported that 32.5% of its student population qualifies for free and reduced lunch. If there are 368 students in this school, which computation shows the number of students who qualify for free and reduced lunch? In order to solve this problem, we are going to compute using percents. We will recognize that a percent is per 100, so 32.5 percent is equivalent to 32.5 over 100, and dividing by 100 tells us we're going to move that decimal place two places to the left to rewrite our percent as a decimal. The next thing we want to do is find 32.5 percent of 368. In order to do that, one way we can do is set up the multiplication. 325 thousandths, or 32.5 percent, times my total 368 is going to give me my calculation that I need in order to find the number of students who qualify for, for free and reduced lunch. We will notice that if we take a whole number and multiply it by a number between 0 and 1, it would result in a product that's less than 368, or roughly a third of our students qualify free, for free and reduced lunch. Therefore, if we looked at an estimate and we looked at roughly a third of 368, we would get an approximate of about 120 students. We can see that B is the only number that would make sense. This would, would result in numbers that are bigger than 368.